guys, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video for you guys and today I'm gonna show you guys how I made this wig from start to finish. This is a Tiffany Blue Bob wig. It is Bob season, so that's what I'm doing for you guys today. If you wanna see how I made this wig from start to finish, then please continue to watch. All right, so let's make this wig. You're gonna need some hair and I'm using Julie's hair. It's my first time using their hair, so make sure you check out any reviews on the hair. This is their 613 hair and I'm using a frontal and I'm gonna be using some bundles. So I'm holding three bundles right now, but I actually end up using one and a half bundles to make this wig. So you don't really need a lot of hair. Now I'm gonna be using this wig canvas head. This is what I used to make all of my wigs. And this is my wig stand. I got it from Amazon. It's a GX brand. I'll link everything in the description bar down below. And to make my wigs, I use a dome mesh cap. You can also buy these in bulk on Amazon or you can just buy them at the local beauty supply store. I usually get them in bulk because I make a lot of wigs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that mesh cap onto that wig head and this is the absolute wrong way how to put it on. Do not do that. Do it more like this. So you wanna make sure that you put it on properly first and you also wanna make sure that you measure it. So I don't really measure mine anymore because I know my measurement, but just to show you guys, so from the front to the back of my head, it's 14 inches and at the side, ear by ear, it's 12 inches. I had those markings on my wig cap because I tried my wig cap on before I actually make my wig sometimes and just put little marks on where my ear is and then I go ahead and attach the frontal to the wig cap. Now I'm using pins, you can use T-pins as well but I feel like it's better to use these pins because sometimes the T-pin can rip your lace and you do not want to rip your lace. Now I'm going to be using some blonde thread and some needle. Um, the thread color is optional depending on what color wig you are going for. I'm, I'm going to be doing a lighter color today so I went with a lighter color thread so I'm gonna start off by making my first stitch and I start off in the middle like always and I'm gonna go all the way down to the end of the lace frontal once I get to the end I'm gonna grab my scissors and just cut it and then make a double knot because I don't want it to come undone and cut off that extra a uh, bit of thread and again I'm gonna be doing the same thing all the way around until I get to the very end and cut it again same thing oh my gosh you guys I completely forgot to mention this this is a very important step that you cannot miss um, when you are pulling the frontal down past the wig cap you want to make sure that you pull it like maybe half an inch some people tend to go a little bit lower it really depends on your forehead size I don't really have a lot of forehead room so I don't pull mine down forward too much or else my forehead's gonna look really short it's gonna look really weird so it really depends on your forehead all right so the frontal is all stitched down to that cap I'm gonna go ahead and sew the track down and and I just add some pins in it just to keep it in place and I'm gonna go in with my needle and thread and start stitching the tracks down to the wig cap and guys if you are new to making wigs and you want to make a wig just be very patient because it is time-consuming especially when you're first starting out honestly it used to take me such a long time to sew a wig together now I can actually do it within an hour so it's gotten a lot faster and I made a lot of mistakes trying to figure how this whole wig making thing goes but you know what practice makes perfect that's how you're gonna get good at anything so yeah now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm doing the fold over method as you can see and I'm not keeping the tracks very close together they almost like a, they have a gap so if you want to make it really close together that way you can add actually more hair onto the cap but I don't want to use a lot of um, I don't want to use a lot of hair because I don't want this hair to be super, super full and voluminous because I'm going to be rocking a bob today. So I do want it to be very like, you know, sleek, more flat, not too much hair on it. So yeah, that's where you're seeing these huge gaps in my wig that I'm making right now. It's because I'm not keeping the tracks close together. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to do the fold over method where I do not cut the tracks. So I'm just going to continue stitching it. It's very repetitive. Everything is the same. Once I get closer to the top, then I'm going to go ahead and cut that track off because I won't be doing the fold over method anymore. I'm going to start going straight across. So I will be going straight across until I get to the very top. The reason why I'm not doing the fold over method when I'm at the top is because it's going to be very, very bulky and the wig is not going to lay really flat. So that's why I go straight across when I'm close to the top and the wig is pretty much completed we are down to our last track I mean we're not completely done making this wig we still have some work to do to make her look fabulous 
that, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna remove that wig cap underneath. You can see that black wig cap, that's not the look we're going for. So we're gonna cut that excess cap off. When you're cutting it, make sure you do not cut any of the stitch because you don't want it to unravel. That would really, really suck if that happens. So make sure you don't cut the stitch. This is how she's looking right now. All right, so now we're gonna color the hair, but before we add any color, we're gonna grab some Vaseline and I'm gonna apply this all over my lace frontal. This is gonna protect that lace. It's gonna make sure that the lace does not get stained. A lot of you guys ask me, how do I remove the Vaseline? I just use shampoo, it gets it right out. If you don't wanna use Vaseline, you can also use the Got To Be Free Spray. So the colors I'm using today, it's Aquamarine by Arctic Fox. I'm also gonna be using their Arctic Mist Diluter, and this is just going to tone the color down a bit. You can use this if you want your colors to be more on the pastel size. I'm mixing it together. Um, the Arctic Fox dyes, they are very, very, very pigmented, very bold, very bright colors. And I'm gonna go ahead and start applying that hair dye onto the hair. It's super easy, it's super simple. I'm gonna be speeding this through because it's very repetitive. I'm not doing anything complicated today at all. So just put the dye in the hair and just rub through with your finger. Make sure all that dye is getting distributed all throughout the hair. And if you're feeling super lazy and you don't wanna do the old school method, you can always do the watercolor method as well. I just don't like using the Arctic Fox dyes to do the watercolor method because the dye is so thick. I hate using it for the watercolor method, but you can. So yeah, this is pretty much how it's looking. And I actually left it on for about 30 minutes and then I washed it out. And this is the result. The hair is looking nice and wet right now. So that's why I'm gonna go in with my tweezer and I'm gonna start tweezing out that hairline. Now this lace frontal is pre-plucked. However, if I want the front to look a little bit more on the natural side, you have to tweeze the hair. I'm saying natural even though this color is so wild, like they ain't nothing natural about this, but I still like to tweeze my hairline so it doesn't look wiggy and bulky. I didn't really tweeze a lot, by the way. Um, I actually went back in and tweezed a little bit more once the wig was on my head. I will be doing another video very soon on how to customize the hairline and tweeze. Let me know if that's something that you guys wanna see in the comments section. All right, so I've been using this product recently. I absolutely love it. This is from the Wig Gurus, and this is a product to tint your lace. So I'm gonna go ahead and tint that translucent lace because the translucent lace on my skin tone, it does show up a bit white, and sometimes I have to use makeup to make it match my skin. So I'm gonna go in with the tinter, and the shade that I use is in Pure Beige. I prefer to use this over using makeup because the makeup, you can kind of see the buildup on the lace, and it just looks, it doesn't look as good. It looks better when you use a tinter, and this tinter is just absolutely amazing. And as you can see, I use the blow dryer to make the tint dry a lot faster, and I'm also using it to dry my hair. Then I'm gonna go in with my flat iron just to straighten that hair really quickly before I cut it. So I'm gonna put a elastic band in the hair. That's where I'm gonna be cutting the hair from. Listen, I am no expert when it comes to cutting, okay? So don't judge me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my scissors and start chopping away. And it's looking very choppy, I know. But we're gonna fix that. So the hair length was originally 14 inches. I really didn't know what style wig I was gonna make. If I knew I was gonna go with something shorter, I would've gotten it in 12 inches and then cut it because that's the shortest length they carry from Julia's hair when it comes to the 613 hair. So now I'm gonna go in with my shear and comb. I think that's what it's called. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out some of that hair at the bottom because it's very, very, very full. So I wanna thin that out as much as I possibly can because I don't want it to look thick and bulky. You never want your bobs to look thick and bulky. You want it to look nice and sleek. So I'm gonna go in and thin it out. All right, so I'm done thinning out the hair. I'm liking how she's looking. However, I'm gonna go in with a electric shaver. Yes, she's getting fancy. I'm using an electric shaver, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. This is my first time using this, and I'm gonna go in trying to make that cut a little bit neater in the back so it's not really choppy. And that's pretty much all I do with it. Then I'm gonna go in with my flat iron and start styling the hair. I'm literally just straightening, that's all. 
All right, so the wig is completed. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that wig onto my head. The glue that I use is Ghost Bond Glue. I will link everything I use in the description bar down below. I do have a video on application as well, very detailed. So if you guys wanna check that out, it will be in the description bar down below. So yeah, this is the completed look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope it was helpful to you. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy. Comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see next. And I'll see you in another video. Very very soon i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching